Hey everybody, Cheesy Metal again. I have another video. Um, this one is called... Uh, oh, first and foremost, I'm here my friend George. He's going to be my uh, resident expert on this box. So now this is a box. This is the uh, monthly magic box, which features items relating to Magic the Gallery. And I am, I am personally not a, a, a big player in Magic the Gathering, but I have played it before and I do like it. I just never really had time to get into it as much as my other hobbies. And that's the reason why I brought my friend George. He <laughs> knows a little bit more about, about Magic than I do, so he's going to kind of help me go, help me examine the box. Um, like the other boxes that I get, this one, this one's a plain cardboard box. It's not colored like the boot crate or the nerd block. So, but who cares really? Uh, so let's open it up and see what we get. Oh, oh packing peanuts. Okay, so I see the first things first is this. I don't. I guess it's a cardboard box. It's like could be like a deck holder box. You know? Yeah, it's probably a booster box. Um, they usually contain either a deck or booster cards. Sometimes dice or a lot of life spinners. Um, sometimes other swag like bags and things like that. So yeah, open it up. Yeah. And it looks like we've got a deck box, pro deck box there. Uh, ultra. Okay. Well, that's different. So this is a uh, pro deck box, 100 plus. What else we got? Got one of the jumbo cards. What are the jumbo cards for? The jumbo cards are for another variant of Magic. Um, I've actually never played that one before, so I'm not too keen on it. But um, but it's another variant of Magic that uses all of those jumbo sized cards. And um, they're generally the same cards as in standard play. This one looks like it's a mythic rare. Yeah, it's a mythic rare legendary creature ooze, the Mimeoplasm. So, um, yeah, you'll see a lot of those. And I, I guess they put one per box. It's random, I guess. <laughs> Got some deck protectors. Okay. Two packages of deck protectors. So, like, two of the same? Got cool. matching there. And then there's a booster pack, a 15 card booster pack. Okay, Journey to Journey into the Knights, Knicks? Journey into Knicks. Okay. Let's see what else I see some other put else in the bottom. Looks like there's some literature. I'm gonna get closer. It's a nine pocket portfolio. Oh, for putting put your cards in. Oh, okay, so it's like a like Pretty much like a binder for your cards. Right, like guys used to put their baseball cards and stuff in the yeah. binders. This one is got some nice art on it. Okay, looks like that's about it. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so this is my first magic box. Um, probably get one or two more to review um, to show y'all. Uh, this runs about with shipping costs and everything. It runs about twenty six dollars a month, I believe. So. I mean, you would probably be know more, more about me. I mean, would this be a good deal? Because um, sometimes you get shirts. I think sometimes you get a shirt every now and then. Um, I've seen people get play mats. Uh, yeah. Dice. What did you say the total cost was with shipping? About twenty six dollars. Twenty six dollars. I'd say that's worth it. I mean, you've got uh, you know. I know the booster packs are usually about like three. Uh, I mean, depending on what set they come from, um, the newer packs usually go for anywhere from six to eight dollars. Okay. Um, legacy packs can be more expensive depending on if they're a, uh, a desirable set. Um, but yeah, they do range from anywhere from you know three to twelve dollars. I've seen some go as high as fifteen for like Arabian Nights. Um, but with the other swag that's contained in there, you know, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, yeah, man, it's pretty cool. I mean, I really like it. I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot, but actually, I mean, it looks like it's some really good stuff for. And of course, you get a strong case as well. I mean, it's, yeah, that's a good travel box. That yeah. that doubles as a travel box when you've got your cards in the in their card protectors and you've got them in your pro deck box. And of course, store you can, two of them in that box there, and that's your travel case. Yeah, or you put your dice or counters, whatever else you need. That's cool. So I mean, yeah, I mean that's that's the uh, monthly magic box for June. Um, usually, the cutoff date is the 
whatever month it was, like for the June box right now, the cutoff date was in the beginning of, in the middle of May. It ships out at the very, very end of the month, so you usually go the next month over. So, you know, I ordered it in May, got it uh, in June, here yeah, in June now, so. But yeah, so I mean, this is really cool, I really like it. Um, I think I'll get a couple more just to see what, to see, see if it stays consistent. Yeah, see how consistent it is. But yeah, that's cool, so I mean, as a, I guess a re real quick recap, you'll have the, uh, the portfolio. card portfolio. Yeah, pocket portfolio, nine pocket portfolio. You get the box, we got the uh, deck holder, the uh, protector sleeves. Just like we got a total of a hundred of them. Uh, a booster pack and a legendary card. So, uh, most awesome. So, if you like what you see or tell me what your favorite item is, uh, leave me a comment below. Uh, don't forget to rate the uh, video thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to see me open up other uh, loot crate boxes that I do get, um, you can always check out my other web series. I'm in the Eve's Guild as well. So, uh, until then, I'll see you next time. George, thank you for, for coming in. No problem. Thanks for having right. me. Bye, girl.